What's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and welcome back to News for iOS, a series where I go over all the latest and greatest news in regards to iOS emulators and even sometimes iOS screen recorders. Lately, I've been covering the amazing iRec as well as the popular non jailbroken and jailbroken emulators that are on iOS devices. With that being said, we have a lot of stuff to cover, so let's begin. Okay, so our first topic is GBA for iOS. GBA for iOS recently released an update with a ton of awesome things, but it is a minor update, 2.0.5, and as far as we know, this works on the latest iOS beta, which is iOS 8.0.4, and this is the beta version. However, there are some very awesome features that have been introduced in this new update to GBA for iOS, which include push notifications, and the return of event distributions and you will also be notified of event distributions with these push notifications along with new versions of the actual application which I think is a really awesome feature that has been added and we'll be seeing a lot more features in the future. Our next topic is the Pangu iOS 7.1 through 7.1 point at the moment to untethered jailbreak that works on all devices on that firmware so if you're a fan of jailbreaking just be aware that this jailbreak is out and don't miss out on it and speaking of jailbroken uh, devices let's talk about PPSSPP a PSP emulator available to jailbroken i uh, devices and it has recently been updated to 0.9.9 which has many graphical fixes and compatibility improvements I am a huge fan of PPSS PP. I play it often on my jailbroken eye device and it works really well on the newer devices. So if you want to get that, it's on Angel X-Win's source, which is the same as NDS for iOS. And now on to what you all want to hear. iRec app is still being developed and at the moment is at a releasable state. However, the developer wants to work on a few more features before he actually releases it. But with that being said, the developer will implement an update system to the actual application, similar to GBA for iOS where he'll be able to update and fix bugs and add new features when the application is released. At the moment, there's still no release date, but we're hoping for it to come out very soon. And finally, our last bit of news returns back to GBA for iOS, and that is that event distributions have restarted, and at the moment there's an event distribution for Pokemon Emerald that'll last until August 7th, 2014. And there's one for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire that will never expire. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to be notified whenever I update a video like this one or the other awesome stuff I do on the channel. For example, if you'd like to see a full review on the beta of iRec, you can click on the right. Or if you'd like to learn how to get randomized ROM hacks on GBA for iOS, click on the left. With that being said, Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.